Thanks for watching the replay. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Give everyone a second here. My name is Christina. I represent Chanson Water USA. Chanson is a leading water ionization and filtration company located in Laguna Hills, California. Today we are going to be talking about the benefits and uses of ionized acidic water. I'm really excited about this one because I don't think a lot of people know what ionized acidic water is. I know I didn't until I started working for Chanson a few years ago. So, acidic water is a byproduct of a electric water ionizer. Um, the primary use of a water ionizer is to create alkaline water for drinking, um, but it simultaneously creates an acidic um, waste water, which we actually do not want to waste. We want to save it and use it for the ways that I'm going to be talking about in this scope. Um, the properties of acidic water are that they have it has a pH of less than 7, we're going to be focusing on the 2.7 to 5.5 pH range today. And um, it also has a hypochloric, sorry, hypochlorous acid component of about 1 to 30 um, milligrams per liter. It's heavy in H plus ions, which act as an oxidizer. And um, it doesn't burn or sting the way you think of traditional acid. So it's actually safe to drink, although we do not recommend it. It's not beneficial or healthy to drink, um, but it's not something you would have to call poison control if you were to drink it. It's totally um, non-toxic and safe and um, has a multitude of uses. So we're going to talk about the four main ones today. Number one is household cleaning. So it's completely eco-friendly. Um, you can make it for pennies on the gallon. You would just um, make at a 2.7 pH and put in a plastic spray bottle. And I know a lot of people have a hard time wrapping their minds around um, cleaning with nothing but water, but it is a special water. That low pH and the oxidizing factor uh, makes it a very effective cleaner. We use it on our countertops, floors, bathrooms, um, toilets, sinks, um, pretty much anything you can think of. It's going to be able to disinfect. And... Um, an important thing to note is that most ionizers on the market cannot make strong acidic 2.7 pH water. However, all Chanson ionizers um, with, that are seven plates or higher can uh, for the 70% of Americans who have hard water sources. And then if you live in a soft water area, um, our Chanson Miracle Max and Miracle Max Royale um, will make the water in those hard water soft water sources as well. Um, thank you. I've been using it for several years and it's amazing. No more chemicals in my house. I agree. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so, so yeah, so you, so you definitely have to make sure you're getting an ionizer that can make the strong 2.7 pH. That is what has been third party lab tested to, um, in fact, on contact, we tested it against staph and E. coli bacteria with excellent results. So um, number one is the, the household cleaning uses. And I should mention also that um, hotels and restaurants are also using acidic water around the country. Um, it's becoming more well-known and bigger. So it's not just limited to your household. You could use it for commercial uses as well. And um, the number two way that you can use Acidic water would be for beauty and skin care purposes um, because our skin is made is a 5.5 pH. A lot of the commercial um, soaps and body washes that people use are actually um, interfering with the body's natural pH. So when we use a 5.5 um, pH acidic water on our skin to cleanse it, um, some people result uh, some people say that they have more healthy, youthful looking skin. And um, great for pet's hair as well, that's correct. Yeah, we use it on our dogs. Um, so you can wash with it, you can use it as a facial toner, you can um, use it as a mouthwash, makeup remover, any type of minor skin irritation, you can spray it on there. Um, if you do not have a water ionizer, ionizer yet and you would like to try it, we offer a skin balance product. It is a four ounce bottle of acidic water made at that um, milder pH range 
for skin. It's $19.95 for a four ounce bottle. So you can um, try that for yourself and see how you like it. And it will be awesome for new babies that may be on the way. Yes, I have a baby two weeks away. <laughs> so thank you for sharing that. Um, you're correct. Um, so that's the second way that um, I, I like to use my ionized water, acidic water. Um, the third way is to water plants. Not all plants um, like acidic water, so you have to look for the specific pHs um, levels of the plants that you have, but many do. And the reason is because most plants um, breathe out oxygen and breathe in carbon what is it? dioxide. So, um, so gardeners know that um, certain plants thrive with acidic pH soil, and when we're using, so if you water your those plants with um, the acidic water, you're gonna get uh, better results and maybe develop a green thumb if you don't have one already. And then um, the fourth and final way we're gonna talk about today for using acidic water is um, to sanitize meat and produce. Um, I've heard of people um, spritzing their meat with it to kill any bacteria, things like that. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't do that. But um, you can also spray your produce as well. You know, every once in a while we hear about recalls and, and bacteria and stuff on cucumbers and things like that. Um, so we typically don't recommend soaking it in acidic water because we don't want the produce to absorb that acidity because um, it's not good to eat. But a quick dip in the acidic water and um, then, so then soak in alkaline 8.5 pH water. That is great. And our friend added, it also kills spider if spiders if you're creeped out by them. That's true. <laughs> I, lo I love the input. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Um, so a quick recap is that acidic water is um, great for numerous uses. It is a byproduct of alkaline water created by an electric water ionizer. You can check out our water ionizers at chanceandwater.com. If you have any questions, um, you can email at us at cs at chanceandwater.com. Um, we, we do scopes every Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. However, um, they are tentative. <laughs> I, I know I'm really out of breath because of the pregnancy, so thank you. Um, the, our future scopes are going to be tentative because my baby is due in two weeks. So um, they are going to be on hold until I'm back from maternity leave for about 12 weeks or so. Um, but if baby doesn't come early, I will see you guys next Wednesday, 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And thank you so much for watching. Again, our website is chanceandwater.com. My name is Christina, and um, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day.